everybody welcome back to another episode of fat bass fishing it's been a while um almost probably a week since i have posted an episode um i've just been striking out fishing wise lately i went out i tried to go out two times this week and it was raining both days so i wasn't able to fish i went out with dad monday we got skunked didn't catch anything i went out with another guy tuesday we ended up having to come out early um like leave early because a big big like huge thunderstorm rolled in it was pretty bad um i might include a clip of that if i saved it of like the waves on this lake because of the wind that was blowing in um so it's been a pretty uneventful fishing week um but we are down here at the wasissa river um we have not really we've never gone out on the boat here um we've Growing up, we used to fish here, like bank fish and stuff, but we decided we're gonna put the boat in. It's gonna be a little sketchy because we only have a trolling motor and it's a river, but it's not super fast flowing. We do have um, oars if we need them. And we're gonna just kinda see if we can find some bass. I mean, they're here. I've caught bass here before. So hopefully we'll be able to catch some on camera for you guys. Um, we are currently parked and waiting because there's a lot of people here with their boats. And so a couple of them are trying to pull their boats out right now. And so we're just kind of waiting our turn to get down there to the ramp. We also forgot our life jackets. And so we had to call my mom and she is bringing them down right now because legally we have to have, boat out yet we have to have the life jackets. So, um, but we're going to be putting in, in just a few minutes fishing for, I don't know, two, two and a half hours. As long as the weather cooperates, there is a, some dark clouds in the distance, but, um, hopefully we're going to catch something. If not, this will probably be a two-day video. This will be um, footage from today and tomorrow because we are planning on tomorrow going to this place called Lake Hall. Uh, sorry, there's a guy driving by on a lawnmower. Welcome to the country. Um, <laughs> there, we we are going to this place called Lake Hall. It's part of the McClay Gardens. Zero turn lawnmower. McClay Gardens State Park. Um, and we've never fished there. I didn't even really consider fishing there, but apparently they have a boat ramp. You are allowed to put boats in as long as they have trolling motors, no gas motors, or, and that's what we have. So, or, no or yeah, or no like kayaks, canoes. That's fine too. But um, we're gonna go there because some people have told us. Uh, my actually my um, what is the guy that does the fish stuff? Taxidermist. taxidermist. <laughs> my taxidermist that is currently mounting the big fish that I caught a couple episodes ago. Um, he told us that he is also mounted like a 14 pound bass from lake hall so i don't think that we'll catch a 14 pound bass that would be pretty cool i don't think that'll happen um but that's the plan we're either going to go to there or we're going to go to lake talquin and 14 try pounds or bust we're either going to go there or we're going to try to go to lake talquin and try to catch some striper because we have yet to catch striper so one or the other we're going to be doing something tomorrow and um so the footage will be from wasissa river today and Lake Talquin or Lake Hall tomorrow. So, without further ado, let's get to the footage. Uh, almost 
six pound mud fish. There he goes. <laughs> All right, guys, um, that does it for day one. We will see you guys tomorrow, wherever we go, Talquin or Lake Hall. We are going to be out here longer than this, but as you can see, storm's rolling in, radar lied again. Welcome to Florida. Um, I caught a almost six pound bowfin right there, <laughs> literally like off the edge of the boat. Uh, I could see him sniffing the worm, and I was like, okay, come on, take it. I thought it was a mullet, but it was actually a bowfin. And, like um, the water in the, in the water. and so I was able to get him to finally, he took it, and I set the hook, got him in on the boat, and then the literally the hook broke off the line after I got him in the boat. But pretty cool um, that I was able to just, like, catch him right off the edge like that, off the boat. So that's it. That's the only catch we get today. I like getting in the water. Um, so we will see you guys tomorrow on whatever lake we go to. Peace. First fish of the day, guys. Little, but you know what? You gotta get the monkey off your back first. I think I do. See ya. Oh, God. Whatever this fish is just hit my frog up into the air. But I couldn't get it because there was no opening. There's just no opening. baby. It's about keep size too. Alright guys, this is a good bass right here. Look at that. It's about a two and a half pounder. I'm not going to weigh him. He's about two and a half. Two and a half pounds. He destroyed my frog. I casted the frog in at like, I, but even dad saw, I cast in like three times and he hit it all three times and just didn't get it until that last time. And finally he got it. Thank you. Said hard. You sure? Oh, bass. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's on. It's on. Oh, I thought you just lost it. <laughs> the way you jumped out of the water and your warm went up, is that uh, keepable? Yes, guys, I know you guys are going to judge us really hard. We're keeping bass to eat. We just want to eat a couple. I think that's big enough. Another one. All right, guys, this is another fish for dad. Definitely smaller than little. Definitely. Terrible. You do. Slow us down, slow us down. 
of the day for me, so me and dad are officially tied. Not a, not terrible. See him just swimming around. Put him in before I, uh... No! That's what I was worried about. Oh my gosh. Does that count as a catch? Dad's still beating me three to two. I should have, I shouldn't have been messing around. That's my fault. Gosh dang it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Fat Bass Fishing. I apologize for not getting more episodes out. Um, this Florida weather has been really unpredictable. I mean, right now, I mean, as you can see, it is a really nice day for fishing, but I am not fishing. Uh, we just flipped the boat over. Um, so what we're doing is there is a leak in this boat, which you can see we, we went ahead and sealed a lot of these screw areas just in case because we didn't know where the leak was coming from but even after doing that there's still a leak so what we're doing is we are currently sanding this boat down um and we have a, a different kind of sealant that we're going to put and it's, it just coats the whole boat um and it's supposed to seal any tiny little you know holes and stuff we're probably going to have to get some screws and and fill in these holes um but we're trying to figure out where this leak is. It's not a bad leak. We have a bilge pump in the boat, so it's not a big deal. Um, you know, we're not at risk of sinking or anything, but it's, it's kind of annoying when you've been fishing an hour or so, and there's a couple inches of water in the back of the boat that you have to pump out. So um, we would like to get it where we don't have to worry about using the bilge pump, you know, that, that often. So hopefully the the coating that we got is going to work if not i mean i don't really know what else we're going to do we could probably take it into someone that specializes in boats and they can like do some sort of welding job on it or something um eventually we're going to upgrade boats um but that's i mean that's pretty far down the road we just got this one so we can't really afford to, to upgrade to something else yet um but Hopefully this is going to do the trick. There are some nicer weather coming later this week. I just haven't been fishing as much, guys. I mean, me and Dad went Saturday, and but I only went like twice, maybe three times last week. This week I haven't been. I mean, it's only Monday, but I haven't been. Guys, I haven't been fishing this week. It's only Monday. Um, But tomorrow and Wednesday, it's supposed to be raining, so probably not any fishing happening then. Um, but hopefully Thursday, Friday maybe Saturday, we're going to be able to get out one of those days on the boat. I will get out and bank fish at some point during one of those days as well. Um, it was just really hot today and I knew we had to get this boat, um, taken care of. So I ended up just coming to my dad's instead of, uh, instead of going fishing. Um, you know, stuff like this takes precedence over, over fishing. So, um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Please be sure to click that subscribe button click like on this video, share with your friends. You know, I'm just trying to build up that subscriber count. We, we broke a hundred, which was great. That was my first goal. Next goal is going to be a thousand. It's going to take us a while to get there, but I do believe we can get there. Um, but that's going to require subscribing, sharing, you know, telling your friends about these videos. Uh, it would mean a whole lot. So with, with that said, um, yeah. Have a good rest of your week, guys, and I'll see you next video. Matt, out. Peace.